So I have one horse, uh -huh. um, but he eats quite a lot. How much does this hold? Holds a fairly large hay net, so about seven kilos approximately. Okay. Um, and how does it work? So you've got your boiler system here, which acts like a kettle. Um, unscrew the filler cap and then using the watering can and funnel, you then fill this um, fill the boiler with water. Okay. That's then connected, got a quick release fitting on the hose, which pulls back. So the hose connects to the um, hose on the, boy on the chest yep. with a quick release fitting, okay. snaps into place. Okay. Um, and how do I know when the hay's ready? Okay, so you've timed the unit for an hour. Yeah. Once the hour is finished, come and have a look at the thermometer on the lid. Okay. And the uh, needle will be in the green zone or higher. Okay. That indicates that the internal temperature has exceeded 100 degrees C. Okay. Which is proven to kill all your bacteria and fungal spores. Okay. Um, once that's done, switch the unit off. Yeah. If you want to feed it immediately, obviously be aware that the hay inside is extremely hot. Okay. So using the handles here, okay. you lift the lid towards you so that any steam is going away from you. Okay. Can I use any hay net in there? Yes and no. We have had reports of some hay nets shrinking in the high temperatures. Right. Um, we do sell a specific hay net that has been heat tested to the high temperatures of the hay gain um, and we can say that that's absolutely fine to use with the unit. Okay, perfect. Um, and where does the water go? Am I going to have mess on my yard? Minimal. Um, so obviously the, ge the generator is creating the steam, which then is absorbed by the hay in the unit. Um, you get an element of condensation. So once the steam hits the lid, it'll condensate, drop back down. Depending on the amount of hay in the unit, most of it is absorbed into the hay, okay. um, but there is a drainage hole in each of the feet of the unit. Okay. So you will get an element of condensation. So say you've got it in a tack room or a barn and you want to keep the floor dry, um, then we do suggest sitting it in some kind of tray. Okay. No problem. Um, and how I'm only on the yard for sort of half an hour of a morning. Um, so how would I work that? Do I need to be around for the entire hour or how am I going to use it? A um, couple of options there. The unit can be run on a timer system. Okay. Things to be careful with that, we would recommend that your electrician installs a timer sy system that's correctly rated to the wattage of the boiler. Okay. We also wouldn't recommend that in freezing temperatures that you leave water in the boiler overnight because obviously it will fit, uh, freeze overnight and then the boiler won't work the next morning. Alternatively, if you spend more time of an evening on the yard, then you could steam the night before and steam two or three hay nets worth or two or three lots and then the hay is fine to feed over 24 hours. Okay, so after I've steamed, how long... Um, is the hay okay for? How, how long can I feed it? Uh, you can feed it immediately. In the winter months the horses love it hot, um, but likewise we've done the testing and research over a 24 hour period and um, there's no significant changes. Um, I forgot what I was going to say now. <laughs> <laughs> I need it written down. No significant change and it will always be better. That's it, it will always be better. That's the bit I forgot. Take three. <laughs> um, and after I've steamed, how long can I feed it? So most horses like it hot straight away, especially in the winter months, but you can feed up to a 24 hour period and there's no significant spore change. Um, it'll always be better than hay that's never been steamed. Okay. So one of my horses is quite fussy. How do I know he's going to like steamed hay? So most horses do like the steamed hay. Um, with the steaming process, it rehydrates the hay, softens it, makes it much more palatable. Um, you might get the occasional horse that isn't too sure because of the smell, yeah. or if you fed it hot and there's steam coming off it, they might be a bit standoffish. Okay. Um, some horses, it might be a texture thing. So if they're used to a soaked hay, um, we can suggest top dressing the hay and then you'll get a wetter steam and you'll reciprocate the um, texture of a soaked hay then. Okay. And if I'm travelling for a show, um, where some what can I take the hay with me? Do I need? To... Yeah, 
So we, um, we've got a bale carry bag, um, so once you've steamed we do recommend to keep the hay covered so that it's not um, open to airborne spores. So again, steam enough in advance and then pop it in the bale bag and it, it'll keep the lorry tidy as well. Um, how much electricity does this use? Is it going to be very expensive to run? So um, this boiler is 1.5 kilowatt. Okay. On your electricity bill it'll say what you pay per kilowatt hour, times it by the 1.5 and that'll give you the cost per hour to run the unit okay. so that, that would be one cycle um, so say it was 10 pence it would be 15 pence per cycle okay no problem and is that wattage if I take this away with me in the lorry mm -hmm. can I use it is it low enough yeah I would just check the um, wattage of the generator on the low on the lorry it would need to be ideally two kilowatt or higher okay